Today we're taking a look at Nvidia's new RTX 4000 series GPUs. I am now at CES. So I'm gonna have a ton of hands-on videos, hopefully, of RTX 4000 series laptops, Intel 13th gen laptops, and then whatever Nvidia announces tonight, I'll hopefully also get some hands-on with that in the next few days. My goal is to hopefully get hands-on with at least 10 to 30, maybe even 40 laptops. I don't think I'll be able to do that many videos, but I'm gonna do as many as I can. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at RTX 4000 series laptops. These new graphics cards have the new Ada Lovelace architecture and they use DLSS 3, which is gonna be an improved version of DLSS that only the RTX 4000 series cards can use. And I mean, DLSS, we've seen how awesome it is. It does work really, really well and can really boost your performance. They're saying that there is up to two times more performance and power efficiency. I don't know. I mean, it, here it says up to four times performance with DLSS 3 with versus brute force rendering. There's all kinds of crazy statistics that we're getting from this. And it's very difficult to know exactly what we're gonna be getting uh, final product wise, because you know maybe it's not as good as what Nvidia is claiming, because that almost always happens. But I've got a press meeting with Nvidia tonight. I don't think there'll be anything new uh, that I'm not covering in this, but maybe. And they said they'll have hands-on for different products, so I'm curious what they're going to have available for me to check out. So they have this performance graph right here. It shows Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, getting over two times the performance. Portal with RTX getting three times performance. Cyberpunk 2077 with RTX getting four times performance. These are extremely specific tests that there's just no way that you're gonna have this kind of performance gains on average in the vast majority of titles. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we're looking at like a 30 to 50% jump in performance for RTX 4000 series. That still may be a bit optimistic, um, like on a per watt basis, like 150 watt RTX 3080 versus what they're now labeling as the RTX 4090. It's just basically the highest, most powerful laptop GPU. But yeah, they are going up to RTX 4090. We're gonna go over all those specs in a moment. How much performance you get will vary a lot depending on the game because some games will be able to take advantage of the new DLSS 3, some won't, and some will still do really well with previous DLSS, and you know some games will have ray tracing, some of them won't. All of those factors are gonna dramatically affect it. Now, <sighs> they have an RTX on off thing here with Portal, which is kind of cool. Actually does show a huge improvement that the, the lighting can have with RTX. I mean, I do think the RTX is pretty freaking sweet, but uh, non-RTX games can also look really amazing too. So I don't think it's as amazing as Nvidia tries to make it out to be, but it does, I, if I can play with RTX on, I do try to, cause it is cooler, I think, and, and more realistic. So going over Ada Lovelace right now, the Nvidia Tensor Cores enable and accelerate transformative AI technologies, including DLSS and the new frame rate multiplying Nvidia DLSS 3. Now the key thing to know about Ada Lovelace is that it's a new type of architecture, meaning that you can't necessarily measure the same amount of performance from the previous generation to this generation, say for the same clock speed and CUDA core. The actual performance you get will come across a little bit differently. Looking at the actual specs for the RTX 4090, you can see that the 4090 has 9,720 eight CUDA cores, and it can go from 80 to 150 watts. Notice the huge range on these GPUs. The whole Ada Lovelace architecture being more power efficient in general, it's gonna allow much more powerful GPUs to go into thinner and lighter chassis, including the 14 inch laptops, 13 inch laptops, um, gaming tablets, stuff like that. Continuing on down the spec sheet, we've got an RTX 4090, 4080, 4070, 4060, and 4050. Now you can see there's a large TDP range for each of these GPUs. The RTX 4050 can go up to 115 watts, but also as low as 35. Same total wattage range for the 4070, 4060, and 4050. Now the RTX 4080 and 4090, these are the high, high performance GPUs that can go up to 150 watts. And there's a substantial jump in performance between the 4600 CUDA cores with the 4070 and 7400 CUDA cores with the 4080. That's a huge 
jump in the number of cores, plus the memory interface bandwidth goes up like 50%. That's also gonna dramatically affect performance. And then you also go from eight gigs of RAM to 12 gigs of memory. So RTX 4080 and RTX 4090 laptops will be available starting on February 8th. They're gonna have a starting price of about $2,000 according to Nvidia. And then the RTX 4070, 4060, 4050, those laptops are gonna be available starting February 22nd. And they're gonna start at a price of $1,000. I'm guessing that's for the cheapest one, the RTX 4070. 50. Overall, I think Nvidia is probably pushing everything in the right direction, and I'm primarily concerned with laptop price creeping up too high. We've had huge price increases for the desktop GPUs, and I'm very curious to see what the gaming laptop prices end up being like in the near future. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these laptops in the next few days and check them out. And uh, I'm a, my goal is to do some live streams. I kind of ask questions about them while I'm there in the booth. If I can, it all depends on how good the internet is. If not, I'll be posting a series of hands-on videos and then eventually a compilation of all the hands-on videos together. So be sure to check back to the channel often and frequently and you'll be able to keep up to date with all of the laptops that I get my hands on here at CES. So I'm gonna end it here. I've gotta get ready to go to the AMD keynote and also meet with the Nvidia uh, reps. And then tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going over to the Asus booth. I'm gonna get hands on hopefully with a bunch of their new laptops, which I'm really excited about. So tomorrow I have Asus. I'm gonna check out the Pimax headsets. I've got a meeting with XMG to check out their laptops. My goal is to do a live stream then. And then the next day I'm meeting with MSI, potentially the Tong, I'm gonna try to check out Tongfeng and Clevo chassis. And then on the 7th, I'm checking out the Gigabyte Aorus laptops. Um, and I'd like to see what else I can get my hands on. I might be able to check out a couple other VR headsets, maybe the HTC's new VR headset um, and some other VR tech that maybe some other startup companies are gonna have on hand here at CES. We'll see what I get my hands on. So if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more of my content in the future, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon, out.